<clears throat> uh, Shalom from Jerusalem. This is Uriel, Independent News, Jerusalem, Israel. As uh, we uh, look at the uh, current events that are uh, actually uh, unfolding here in the Middle East, uh, we see that uh, now the uh, uh, Egyptian uh, populace have uh, chosen uh, Mohammed Morsi. Uh, we understand that uh, Mohammed Morsi uh, is part of the uh, Muslim Brotherhood uh, that uh, has taken effect here in the Middle East. Uh, there's tensions uh, with Syria. As you know, uh, Assad uh, continues uh, to kill uh, his uh, own people and uh, there are some implications here uh, because he has uh, chemical weapons and they have been moved According to uh, the uh, sources uh, that uh, I'm learning from, uh, they're saying that the chemical weapons have been moved close to the border. Uh, we uh, hope that these uh, chemical weapons uh, will not get into the hands of uh, Hezbollah. As you know, uh, Hassan Nasrallah uh, in uh, Lebanon will not hesitate uh, to take these uh, chemical weapons and hopefully uh, he will not use them against Israel. But tensions are really high here in the Middle East. Uh, we don't know what's going to be the outcome of the Assad regime. We understand that uh, there's civil war. Over 20,000 people have been killed uh, by uh, this uh, uprising, this civil war within the Syrian uh, uh, regime and their, that country. Uh, we have to understand uh, what Psalms 83 says. Uh, Psalms 83 uh, basically states that they have come and gathered and they have come and said let us cut them off uh, from being a nation that the name of Israel be remembered no more. Uh, we understand that the Islamist extremists want the total destruction of Israel. Uh, there was a video that was uh, uh, shot uh, not long ago when Morsi uh, was proclaimed uh, president of uh, Egypt and the uh, cleric uh, stated that uh, uh, they will march all the way to Jerusalem and not to the Mecca, that they will make Jerusalem the capital of Islam. We have to understand that the enemies of my people Israel are gathering, they're plotting day and night uh, to try and take what does not belong to them. We understand what UN Resolution says 242. It says that there's no such thing as a so-called Palestinian people. Yet, they continue to defy the Western world, the Western nations, by continually saying a lie. We understand that if you say a lie long enough, uh, people will believe it. It is time for our friends and partners throughout the world to stand up for the nation of Israel, to speak out and to tell your government leaders that the nations are gathering against Israel. We have Egypt, we have now Syria, we have Lebanon, and as you know, Abhiminijat and Iran uh, will not hesitate uh, to fire towards the nation of Israel. He has completely denied the Holocaust. He has denied that six million Jews uh, were main tortured and taken into the gas chambers. He has denied this fact. He's actually supplying weapons to the Syrian regime. And now with Nasrallah uh, looking to these uh, so-called chemical weapons, uh, we hope that this will not happen. We understand that, that the IDF here in Israel, General Gantz, has said that they're watching the situation closely here in Israel. We like to thank Paul Bagley uh, for having us last night on his radio program over there in Lafayette, Indiana. We thank you, Paul, and to all your listeners. We thank you for your support, Paul Bagley, and to all your listeners. Uh, we need to raise 2,000 shekels a month. Anyone can give to us uh, via PayPal. It's very simple. Just go to PayPal and look for our email address or give. I say give to our email address, which is Judah. J-U-D-A-H 92 at gmail.com that is Judah J-U-D-A-H 92 at gmail.com we need your support we need to raise 2,000 shekels a month as you know tensions are very high here in Israel as you know Egypt uh, Secretary of State uh, Hillary Clinton met with Mohammed Morsi and I hope that she told them the right things we also understand that Obama has been in power has been president 
of the United States of America, and he has yet to come uh, to Israel and pay uh, honor and respect to the Prime Minister of Israel, Benjamin Netanyahu. It is time for you, my friends, partners, to step up and support our work. We need your support. We thank Paul Bakley and uh, his uh, radio program that had us last night and we spoke for about an hour. We need your support. We thank you. This is Uriel, Independent News, Yerushalayim, Israel. Shalom.